Intel didn't really show off so much at CES, at least to the naked eye. If you didn't weren't paying attention, it seems like all they showed off was Arrow Lake chips, um, which who really cares, right? I mean, sure, if you're gonna buy a high-end laptop, you know, you can go Arrow Lake if AMD's out of stock, but honestly, I'd probably go with AMD and laptop right now, just seeing how Arrow Lake performed in gaming. If you're just doing content creation, you can make a case for Arrow Lake. But we were talking about their laptop Arrow Lake chips, guys. Intel also announced that they're launching Panther Lake on Intel 18A. Yeah, that's right. The most advanced node in the world coming to laptops. Panther Lake in Intel 18A is coming in Q2 of this year. So Panther Lake, our lead product on Intel 18A will launch in the second half of this year. And guys, that's not even the coolest part, okay? Sure is using Intel 18A and we're passing through the street here. Looks great. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> sure is using Intel 18A and you know, that's the most advanced node in the world. It's kind of cool to see the power efficiency and the performance of that. But also guys, guess what GPU cores it's gonna have, right? It's gonna have celestial GPU cores and actually on the showroom floor, I think they had some samples of Panther Lake with celestial GPU cores already built. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think that's the case. So yeah, that's kind of crazy guys that Celestial's already built. This thing's gonna have 12 CPU cores, if I believe so, and 12 GPU cores. So just to give you perspective, right? Um, Lunar Lake, which has been selling like hotcakes apparently, uh, has eight Battle Mage GPU cores and it performs pretty well. I think it, I have to look at the performance level of like a desktop card, I'll put it on the screen now. But yeah, so eight Battle Mage GPU cores and it performs really well for what it is. But Panther Lake, it's gonna be beefed up version of Lunar Lake, but I don't think it's gonna have the soldered memory. And this thing's gonna have 12 celestial GPU cores. So, and mobile, that's gonna be pretty good. And there's a loud car. Oh yeah, loud car coming. Don't you just love that? Yeah, so 12 GPU cores. Let me put my estimate up on the screen for that right now, what I think that would be. We're gonna get 50% more performance if those cores scale linearly and there's no IPC, IPC gains with Celestial, which let's be real boys, Arc has still got a long way to go in the term in terms of like optimization. Battle Mage was a huge step in the right direction, but I think Celestial is gonna pr bring that up to 11. And it's crazy, it's already, gonna, it's already ready. Like Tom Peterson was not joking when he said Celestial's already baked, it's already made. Sure, the drivers are gonna have to go a long way, driver overhead, they need to fix that. I'm looking at you, Intel, for driver overhead patch. Apparently it's something that can be fixed in software. Panther Lake Mobile built on 18A with 12 Celestial GPU cores, you know, 12 Panther Lake cores. I don't know how much of that is uh, performance and E-core and all that. I think it's gonna have some low island E-cores as well, or uh, low power island, or whatever they're called. So at the bare minimum, probably 50% more performance than Lunar Lake. So I'll put up whatever graphics card that is equal to up on the screen, and we're gonna get that in the APU solution. Now, <laughs> some of you may be thinking, this is a little bit too little too late, man. Uh, Strix Halo is coming out. This thing's gonna have probably fit RX 5700 XT uh, desktop GPU performance, maybe even more. And uh, it's gonna be too little too late, man. That thing can have like 128 gigabytes of RAM, and why would you buy Panther Lake? Number one, this thing's probably gonna be a lot cheaper. I'm gonna say that now. Number two, it's gonna be more energy efficient. It's built on a silicon interposer, Intel Fovros technology. Um, they said 70% of the silicon in this thing will be from Intel. So all, I think they're gonna be using like an IO tile from TSMC, probably like uh, six nanometers still. But then, um, you know, the CPU and GPU cores are gonna be built on Intel 18A, let's go. Uh, finally, it's coming out. It, we've been waiting for this moment for Intel for a long time. And I mean, boys, you gotta, you gotta, like Intel's been getting the crap beat out of them these last couple of years, but you gotta admit, they just came out with Battle Mage with uh, Lunar Lake, and now they're coming out with Celestial, like less than a year later, it was, Lunar Lake came out in summer. They are on a crazy pace, pumping out nodes and products like crazy, and you know, on desktop, we kind of hate them right now, but in laptop and in mobile, seems like they're still doing okay. Okay, I'm gonna run across the street in slow motion for you guys. Let me know if you like this. 
It's honestly so fun to do and it's fun to see it back in post. Let's do it. Honestly, all we need now is Intel to upgrade the Z890 platform with Panther Lake CPU cores. Come on, Intel, do it. We need a refresh to Arrow Lake. Arrow Lake's not doing it. Even with the, you know, the latest BIOS patches, it doesn't look like it's given the gaming performance people want. You know, productivity performance, pretty good from what I've seen. But, you know, we're PC gamers, man. Give us something good. We'll spend money. Uh, so Z890 platform, maybe Z. 990 whoa sounds kind of big and sexy coming with panther lake maybe uh pff, springtime summertime fall probably the fall i would have to guess if they're gonna come out with panther lake on a desktop they would do that now panther lake originally was only supposed to be like a um, mobile architecture for laptop um but i remember moore's law is dead saying like a while back he's like they're bringing panther lake cores to desktop um they're trying to do that quick because air lake was kind of garbage so we'll have to see if he's right on that he doesn't have a great track record especially for 2024 but here's to hoping moore's law is dead is right about one thing this year there's dogs everywhere man they don't know that i had carry steak in my pocket always if they brought panther lake to z890 I mean, boys, maybe we could get some celestial integrated graphics on Z890 platform. And if they full sended it with the 12 XE cores, that would be great for a little mini PC. I'm not gonna lie, maybe like uh, eight core CPU, maybe even six core. So what do you think of Intel Panther Lake built on 18A? It's coming in quarter two of this year to laptop. Damn cars, bro. But it's coming on uh, to laptop quarter two this year on Intel 18A. That's gonna be cool. And hey, maybe in the fall we'll get it on desktop too. Here's to hope into that. Maybe faster memory speeds, or you know, maybe just more core performance. That's all we could really hope for out of that platform. They obviously gotta do something quick because it's not doing too well. Not doing too well at all. I think from the numbers I've seen, like um, from my custom PC builders, AM4 alone is outselling Intel AGA, LGA 1700 and uh, 1851 from Arrow Lake. So not good, guys. Don't, rem <laughs> don't remember, <laughs> don't remember to donate. Uh, so just don't donate, no. But if you like the video, donate to the channel, drop a super chat in the comments below and I'll give you a pinned comment. And that's all I gotta say. Are you excited for Intel uh, Panther Lake? Are you excited for Celestial? Let me know. Silicon State, signing out. And the review every spec he's on deck from GPUs to CPUs he knows it all no question too big no detail too small he's got the knowledge he's got the skill when he drops his tape the haters stand still fanboys can cry but they can't deny silicon stakes truth cuts through the